Hey there! In today's episode, we're going to be looking at a couple mods called Navball Docking Alignment Indicator and Docking Sounds. One of the more difficult tasks for people starting out with KSP is the docking maneuver, so I thought we could look at a couple mods that will help improve that experience. The first is Navball Docking Alignment Indicator, and it's a simple little mod that adds a target orientation indicator to your navball. The second is Docking Sounds, which adds a realistic sound effect as a reward for a successful docking maneuver. So with a bit of assistance and immersion from these mods, you might not have to rescue as many Kerbals as I did after running out of RCS trying to dock. Alright, let's jump in and do a quick install. Okay, with CCAN open, we're going to find our mods by going to the filter and typing dock. And we have docking sounds, and we have navball docking alignment indicator. So let's quickly check dependencies as we usually do. Uh, no conflicts for docking sounds. There you go, module manager. So I'm actually surprised we never came across module manager already. It is an extremely popular, extremely useful mod, very commonly used. So we'll have no issues whatsoever with installing that. And with the docking alignment indicator, no dependencies, no conflicts, we're probably okay. Let's uh, do our install. And it looks like everything was successful. So clear. So let's go have a look in game. All right, so I've already got a couple ships in orbit ready for a docking maneuver. So let's go into the tracking station and jump into orbit. All right, guys, so as you can see, we're in our command module here and we have a station just in front of us. Um, the way that the navball docking alignment indicator works is you have to select a target port in order for that indicator to activate. And so what I want to do for the sake of this uh, demonstration here is I'm go not going to pick this port here. I'm going to pick the port on the opposite side of my station. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one as my target. Now, you'll notice there's no special indicator showing up here. you got your prograde indicator and your target indicator. And that's because the navball docking alignment indicator is all about orientation. It's not about alignment, right? So if we point at the station, you're not going to see anything. What we'll have to do is bring ourselves into a orientation alignment with that docking port. So if we're going to be nose to nose with this docking port at some point in order to dock, we actually have to turn the vessel almost right around. So as we keep spinning, there you go. Now you see the new red indicator. That red indicator is your navball docking alignment indicator. And what we need to do is we need to create alignment between that red indicator your yellow prograde indicator, which this is actually your retrograde, although you can't see it very well, and your purple target indicator. And so what we'll have to do is a series of translation maneuvers in order to make that happen. Uh, but again, the red navball docking alignment indicator is all about your orientation of your vehicle. So once you have that set, then you know it's just a matter of translating uh, side to side, up, down, forward, back. It's not a matter of rotating your vessel. Okay, so let us uh, let us start our translation maneuvers here. I'm going to come a little bit to the right. And now you can see your target indicator starting to slide in. We're going to want to line that up as best as we can with the navball docking alignment indicator. So as you can see, we're still not perfectly aligned up and down. But I'm gonna want to. I'm gonna want to stop that. There we go. Um, so again, now it's showing retrograde. So we want to move a little bit forward. So let's RCS forward a bit. And there you go. 
Now, the last thing we have to do is translate uh, a little bit upwards. Now, as you guys know, the way docking works, uh, there is a bit of magnetism to those ports. So you don't have to be perfectly aligned, but you want to be as close as possible, close as you can get. Um, and then uh, take notice when we dock, you're going to hear the second mod that we've installed, the, the docking sounds. And what that's going to do is give you a mechanical locking uh, sound. So you're going to hear that shortly after we actually connect. So. Uh, keep your ear out for that. So as long as you keep those relatively close, you're going to have success. So that's pretty cool. I like that locking mechanism sound. It sounds like those steel parts are being forcibly torqued into position. And it, it just adds a little bit of a little bit of immersion for me. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not an astronaut. I don't know if that actually happens, but it sure sounds cool. Well, that's about it, guys. These are two great mods I use to improve the docking experience. It's worth noting that there are other similar mods to the Navball Docking Alignment Indicator, but I use this one because it's functional and unobtrusive. There's an elegance in its simplicity, and that's really what this series is all about, giving you the functionality without adding complexity. So I hope you enjoyed this docking feature, and we'll see you in the next episode. Take care.